Hello fellow YouTubers. I just wanted to share my biofilter slash aquaponic uh, filtration system. It's pretty simple. I have a uh, 1200 gallon per hour pump at this end of my little pond. which feeds to a one inch food grade tube. <sighs> and I was able to attach a ball valve. And it feeds up to my biofilter, 18 gallons. Uh, and it has three one inch outputs which feeds to this uh, pipe all the way to my other 18 gallon storage container uh, which has my plants uh, which is mainly uh, lettuce and since I don't plan to eat the plants I tried uh, ground cover uh, which is working really well uh, which also has a three one inch output. So the the biofilter itself uh, is a pretty simple design. I'll attach the link of the person I got the idea from. It feeds from the bottom. Uh, that way, I didn't really have to use any uh, any much. Uh, PVC plumbing to create any vortex or whatnot. It feeds to the bottom, so the water goes up. I also placed a uh, air pump, which you can see right there, uh, because the beneficial bacteria th need oxygen to survive. Uh, my medium inside, uh, the bottommost is. Uh, kitchen sponges on top of that is scoring pads and a thin layer of uh, window screen uh, made of fiberglass uh, the medium costs about 30 bucks that storage container costs about eight to nine bucks uh, my one inch food grade tubing uh, cost about a dollar fifty a foot. I picked up around fifteen to eighteen feet. Uh, each bulkhead, one inch bulkhead, cost about one dollar sixty. Uh, this three inch tubing cost uh, about six to seven bucks uh, for ten feet. And this storage container. Uh, I just had it laying around. I just modified it, put the holes in, and so far it's been doing a pristine job. Uh, water is super clear. Uh, my pond is only about 180 gallons. Um, my ball valve serves as a dual purpose. I could adjust the uh, the flow of the water and if ever I had a reason to uh, turn off the pump I can uh, shut the valve that way the murky water with all the goodies doesn't backflow back into the pond. Yeah so far it's been a uh, a pretty good experience making everything from scratch I was a total noob at first at first I had a uh, 295 gallon per hour pump which was which wasn't really doing anything and it was feeding to that 18 gallon tout and I just had half inch lines and 
<sighs> Initially I modified this uh, oil pan, put holes in it, uh, and put the plants there, but it wasn't getting the job done, so I had to make a few adjustments. I also tried uh, running it through my waterfall, but I noticed my water level was uh, decreasing significantly. Uh, which I think the main culprit are these stones that I probably have to reseal. It's probably absorbing all the water and causing it to evaporate or whatnot. But yeah, it's pretty simple. And it's getting the job done for me. I'll put a price breakdown of how much it costs including the pump and all that in the description. Yeah, so what happened was, uh, bought the house, it came with this pond, water feature. Every time it would rain, water would accumulate. Uh, it was full of leaves. Uh, mosquitoes were thriving, so I threw in some uh, goldfish to eat the mosquito larva, and that's what got me to cleaning it. Went to the pet store. Initially, was just looking for turtles to throw in, uh, but then I came across these three large koi that I rescued them in here without any uh, filtration or uh, and went to YouTube saw what everyone else was doing and uh, took it from there now the water is like super clear added more fish and they're thriving <laughs> 